Lucy Lemon. Lucy Lemon is one of the Munch Bunch. She lives in the upstairs flat of an old chest of drawers. Her friend Emma Apple lives downstairs. The Munch Bunch enjoy teasing and playing tricks on Lucy because she never realises when they are joking. She really is a lemon. One morning when Lucy woke up, she saw that it had been snowing very heavily during the night. Hooray, she said, and hurried outside to play. Super Cool the Cucumber and Susie Celery were pinning up at big notice. So Lucy stopped to have a look at it. The Great Munch Bunch Sledge Race, she read out loud. Why don't you have a go, Lucy? It's not difficult to make a fast sledge, joked Super Cool. All you need is a comfortable chair. But don't forget the mudguards to keep the snow off you, giggled Susie. Lucy had no idea that she was being teased, so she decided to make her own sledge and enter the race. Lucy went to see Scruff Gooseberry. She thought he might have some mudguards to spare. How would you make a sledge go really fast, asked Lucy. With go faster striped paint, of course, said Scruff. Just for a joke. Go and see Sally Strawberry. She'll have some, something, some for you. Poor Lucy Lemon still didn't realise she was being teased. So, so she went to ask Sally if she had any go faster striped paint. Sally could hardly keep a straight face. She wanted to laugh so much. I'm sorry, Lucy. I'm, I've run out of striped paint. But you can put the stripes on with this paint. It will be just as good. My main problem now is how to steer it, said Lucy. With a steering wheel, of course, said Sally. Bounce is always making things. He'll find you one. Bounce had some wheels left over from when, when he'd made a trolley to carry his toys in, so he gave Lucy one of those. He realised that the others were teasing Lucy, so he thought he'd put join in too. Don't forget you'll need some brakes to stop you at the end of the race. And as you'll probably be going very fast, I think a parachute would be just the thing. What a good idea, said Lucy. So Lucy went straight to Lizzie Leake's house to ask her if she had any parachute material to spare. Lizzie was quite surprised at Lucy's request, but as she is used to Lucy asking some funny questions, she gave her the material without saying a word. What are we going to do with her, said Lizzie to herself. On her way home, she saw Corny on the cob. What have you got there, Lucy, he asked. I'm making a sledge for the big race this afternoon, said Lucy. Well, don't forget the rubber hammer. Everyone has at least one of those on a really fast sledge, he joked, and you'll need a spot of elbow grease on those mud, mud guards. Then she met Casper Carrot, who was always worrying about something or other. At first he was worrying about the huge snowball which Snoopicle had just thrown at Susie's celery, but when he saw Lucy staggering along with her heavy load, he started to worry about her instead. Let me help you, Lucy, he said. And on the way she told him all about the wonderful sledge she, she was going to make. You will be wearing a safety harness, won't you? asked Casper anxiously. As soon as Lucy got home, she put all the things she'd collected on the floor and set to work. First of all, she painted the chair with go-faster stripes. Then she polished the mud guards until they shone like glass. I couldn't get any of that elbow grease Corny told me about. I do hope polish will do instead, she said to herself. At last, Lucy had finished. She pulled her sledge onto the front lawn and stood in the snow, admiring it. She thought her new sledge was magnificent. And Lucy felt very proud as she pulled the sledge to the race. When the others saw her, they just couldn't help laughing. They were all very pleased with their joke. What a lemon that young Lucy is, said Corny, and his sides were shaking with laughter. It was time for the race to begin. All the competitors lined up trying to concentrate on the difficult course ahead, but instead most of them were laughing at the sight of Lucy, sitting back comfortably on her homemade sledge. At last they were off. Lucy zoomed into the lead. Susie Celery was so amazed she'd forgot to look where she was going. She ran headlong into Scruff Gooseberry. Crash! They both collided with Wally Warner and Tommy Tomato. Lucy raced to the winner's line, way ahead of the others. As she neared the end of the course, Lucy pulled on the brakes and the parachute unfolded. The lead stopped very sedately in front of the line of, the spe line of spectators. Lucy was the winner! 
Lucy was the happiest lemon in the world as Pedro presented her with the winner's trophy. And just at that moment, Supercall whizzed past. Although he'd managed to stay in the race, he didn't have any brakes to help, his, help him stop. Silly cucumber. That day, Lucy Lemon certainly had the last laugh. The end.